Welcome to my happy place. This is Queen Elizabeth Park, atop Little Mountain, the highest point in Vancouver. I've been coming here since I was about six years old. Even walking up to the window gives me nostalgic feelings of playing here with my dad when I was a kid. But today's round ends in something a bit different. So strap in, I hope you enjoy. Most newcomers to Queenie airmail this first green at 70 yards. I've played it so much, I have it pretty dialed in. The greens here leave a lot to be desired on oh, some days, and go. we're happy to start with the bird. The 110 yard second hole is the longest on the course, and I remember as a kid bashing a pitching wedge as hard as I could and often coming short. Today I airmail it with the pitching wedge. I hit a decent chip and get a great look at Matt's putt here. The carpet. Oh, I, didn't give it enough straight. I line it up myself, put a stroke on it, and make three. Ooh. With so many rounds under my belt here, I really have okay. a set target on each and every nice green. Ball. And on the third hole, Excellent anything job. short right will get kicked hard uh, left, okay. and if point. you're lucky, Maybe. also up to the back of the green. This one stayed short, and I had a long putt here, but hit a decent one and take another par. The pin pokes out on the left here before disappearing out of frame. And here it is for your viewing pleasure. I deliberately land it short to a front pin. It rolls up. And the funny thing is, I showed Matt at the beginning of the round a ball that I found that had a paragraph written on the side of it about a hole in one that it had recorded. I told Matt that if I got an ace with that ball, I'd gold plate it. Oh, I thought it was a hole in one ball. It's Brent's. <laughs> oh my god. Shame I got the ace with that ball it instead. It wasn't recording. Yeah. It wasn't recording. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh. But let's acknowledge that an ace on a 40 yard hole isn't even comparable to a hole out. It's more like a chip in. So let's go back to golf. Here I know the target is short of the pin because it will release to the back. It does, and the first putt got away from me a bit but I make three. On this hole, you want to play it right of the pin, but I have a rare miss hit today and land it in the middle of the green and it kicks hard left. This is a long, difficult putt to judge and I make my only three putt of the day. Gives one back there. Seven is another hole where you want to play it to the right and incidentally, 90 yards is my favorite number to bunt a pitching wedge cool. from having done it on this hole countless times as a kid. I hit a good one there, and I have a delicate downhiller and settle for three. I've never played a pitch and putt hole with a temp green, but there's a first time for everything. And look at this putt. Oh, oh, <laughs> he makes the bird. I miss hit this one a little bit too. It's a bit short left, and that was a pin I could have gone right at. But that sure helps. Uh, and this is the kind of day I've been asking for at pitch and putt. Hitting greens, making putts, and going under par. We're just playing golf here. I'm in a good groove now, and 70 yards is a perfect three-quarter sand wedge that I stick to a foot. And then I hit that putt. Frustrating par. The severely downhill 12th hole is the hardest hole on the course. You have to play it short and accept where the bounce sends it. I'm lucky it stays on the green, and I have an uphiller here. It's a bit short, but I make the par. Yeah. Shout out to my friend Karen, who aced this hole in her second ever round of golf. I put it to the right tier of the green here, and I should have asked Dan She's to mark his ball one, and instead try to play it lower on the slope Hit with more pace, ball. but I pay the price and have a hard par putt that I fortunately <laughs> make. My biggest mental error of the day comes on my nemesis hole. I let up on a sand wedge when I needed all of it, and then I thin a chip over the back of the green. Now I'm putting from the rough through an absolute minefield, but hit it okay, and I'm okay with bogey. Another hole with positive associations for me, the uphill 80 yard pitching wedge bunt is similar to the flat ground 90 yarder, and I hit it well, and have a mid range putt for bird, it bounces and drops. Check out the little dust storm going on in the middle of the fairway. And frankly, 110 yards is a full wedge for me to begin with. That was a swell of wind. Yeah. 
My longest chip of the day with a sand wedge is alright. And I'll have about 8 feet for par. That's a bit aggressive and I have a tricky one here. Unfortunately I make it. Again, 90 yards is my favorite number, and this is one to land a hair short because it will release to the back of the green. It does, and I'll have a makeable birdie putt here, but I'm actually a bit defensive with it, because believe it or not, I'm thinking about preserving a score here. This is another hole that triggers nostalgia for me. I made my first ace here at about age 10, and it gave me the golf bug, and today I'll make birdie on it. The 80-yard 18th hole is pretty straightforward and I'm feeling very calm. My ball pitches at the front and releases through to the back, so I'll have to chip this one. It gets pretty close, and I tap in for a 4 under 50. So that's a good day, a good scorecard, and a good round of golf. I hope you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more.